So, our founder creator of EasyTron, he is right here. And he's the guy who has built incredible teams, incredible downlines in his time in network marketing. And now he has introduced this great new opportunity, a diamond of the matrix to us. So without further ado, let me bring on Mr. Nicholas De Cruz, live from Ukraine. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Raise your hands if you're ready. Okay. Hi everyone, um, I'm speaking to you from this gorgeous property out here in, the, in Kyiv, out in the Ukraine. You could say it's like the Versailles of Europe, you can say it's the, uh, the most luxe version you can imagine of something out here in Vegas. It looks like one of these great Scottish uh, lands that you find, beautiful palaces and you know, extraordinary land. It's sitting on hundreds of hectares huge amounts of land, great potential. It's a country, I think, that has got enormous opportunity ahead. It's one of the, the key reasons I'm here today. Actually, I'm here for a week to explore different uh, relationships that we can build, potentially to add to the business that we're all involved in. We want to make uh, Easy Tron a powerful opportunity for everyone. And one of the important stages as we move forward is to find additional value that can go back to members. So if you can imagine yourself as, as owners of something like this, then we've got the opportunity to monetize it and return some value to members. And that's kind of what I've got, you know, toying around in my head because I think this is exactly the way we should be going. We've got the smart contract that can look after you and me. We've got the ability to ensure that our assets are, are protected, that uh, dividends that may be uh, of any potential will go back to you because you can't run from the smart contract. I think it is something that uh, is incredibly smart. It's something that I'm really passionate about at this point. This is the time of COVID. Traveling is incredibly tough, as you know. I don't want to be catching anything. You know, I've got my, my trusty mask over here. So, But again, you know, you can't avoid it. It's, it's spiraling out of control in Europe, as you know. Lots of people are more laser fair about this. Um, and I come from a more anal retentive country where, where we're, we're running with zero cases. So I, I think, uh, to me, it's a big sacrifice, but I, I think we've got to act fast. We've got to do something that um, brings the opportunity quickly to you to ensure that your time isn't wasted, your money isn't uh, wasted, it's put to good use. That's foremost on my mind. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I think, you know, uh, this whole project, uh, this piece of land, the building that's been made. By the way, it is brand new. It, it hasn't been, uh, it's not even completed yet. It is close to completion, so maybe six months to a year. Um, you've got a art gallery over there. You've got the main house that is over there. And it extends way into the back, right down to the river. There are. 30 presidential suites that can be built into this place. You can build an entire underground casino that will be traversing the entire property. Plus, you can have a full um, auditorium that can hold a thousand people. You can have every major uh, artist that can come here. Uh, I hear there is a, it's a great opportunity to, to film a Bond movie. We've, <laughs> we're all talking about Bond today. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a huge spa, it's a dedicated spa facility at the back. Uh, beautiful river, you can have horses, and then there's plenty of land to be building 18 holes, 36 holes, as much as 72 holes out here for, uh, for a golf resort. And then you can build another uh, 150 room hotel in the back. Again, something more lux luxurious. It, it's, uh, it's something we're just looking at, you know, it's not something we're going to be doing right away, but again, I uh, just want to 
give you a taste of uh, what's out there. And Ukraine, I think, is kind of at the bottom of the property cycle. If you understand property cycles, they go 20 years. If you buy it at the wrong portion of the cycle and you buy it close to the top, you know, you do have a 20 year wait for it to hit the bottom. Um, if you buy it at the top and your value of your property starts to decline, then you're suffering a 20 year decline. So getting in at the right time is really, really critical. The property over here is, is easily 10 times cheaper than what you'd find throughout Europe. Maybe 15, 20 times cheaper than what you find out in many parts of Asia. Again, I think opportunity is, is right at this time. And uh, as I said, you know, this is kind of one of the key reasons as to why I made the trip out to the Ukraine. And, you know, it, it looks like the Versailles of Kiev. So he will speak a little bit more about it. Uh, Nicholas, are you ready? Yes, I am. Ooh. Hello. Hi. Hi. My surprise interview who just walked across my screen. <laughs> Hi, Nicholas. Um, how are you? Talk to everyone. I, I'm really good. Thank you very much, Lisa. Appreciate that so much. Um, I hope everyone's good. I hope you all had a great uh, Halloween. Uh, it was, yeah. uh, it, it's kind of, um, what is it? It's party season. It feels like party season. It is over here in Kiev. Nobody's, um, nobody's got masks on. Everyone's having a great time. People can't be bothered. <laughs> it's, it is very, very different. In Singapore, if you stepped out of your house without the mask, it's a $300 fine. If you chose to fight the, the, the you know, police who decide to to uh, find you, then you know it is jail time. So they take it pretty seriously, uh, and that's why we've got probably zero cases versus I don't know what's it. It's uh, it's over a hundred thousand in Europe. It's uh, over a hundred thousand in the U.S. Uh, per day. It's an incredible number. So I don't know where the world's heading. It's it's not looking very good for all of us. Uh, the U.K. has gone into a, a month-long lockdown through to um, September. I think that's to give people a bit of hope that, you know, at least they might be able to open up for Christmas. Everyone's worried about Christmas. Spain's in a six month lockdown uh, through to May of next year. That's, I, I can't even fathom that. That's depressing. It's hard for people to fathom, you know, so I don't know. It's a, it's, it's very, very tough times indeed. And, and it seems odd, you know, I, I'm in a party place and, and ironically, I feel that's a little bit like Easy Tron. You know, we've got a business that seems to be going really well. It's roaring. Everybody's happy. Um, you know, we're all making a, a little bit of money. At least it's enough to pay our bills. And, you know, that's the thing that always worries people when you're out of a job. No potential for business. Things aren't uh, going well. Uh, and if you come from a country where there's not enough government support, uh, everyone needs, uh, you know, some help. I mean, not just you as an individual. I mean, businesses need need uh, support. Airlines need support. You know, and um, and the fact is, we're all, um, I think, starving for a little bit of help. So, I, you know, I hope we keep our heads down and focus on what we have in front of us. Don't get distracted by everything else that we see. And um, you know, um, if if you if you concentrate, you focus, and you build what you have, then I think that opportunity of of um, uh, making sure you can at least have uh, make ends meet uh, can happen for you. And one of the most exciting uh, things in the past uh, weekend, of course, is the fact that uh, Bitcoin has now hit fourteen thousand uh, dollars. It's hovering at that mark. It's gone up just past fourteen. It's now just below fourteen. I think it seems to have strong fundamentals at 13.7, 13.600, so it, it's looking quite good. I was reading uh, an article on uh, the feedback from this investor, Ron Paul, who, Opal, who says he expects uh, Bitcoin to be the digital asset uh, that you have to hang on to. It is a gift from the future, something that um, you must participate in. It's not going away. It is now here, it is firmly entrenched. You know, over the past couple of uh, weeks, I've been interacting with people who still aren't clear about uh, cryptocurrency. They aren't clear about, you know, whether it's real. They don't understand why governments want to clamp down on it. They don't, uh, they, they feel, oh, it's unregulated and therefore it's unsafe. 
which is really the contrary, you know, because it's unregulated, because it is um, uh, decentralized. I, I think that's the reason why we ought we ought to be hanging on to it. Um, now, one of the things uh, in that article article um, talks about uh, the potential of Bitcoin being a, a, a million dollars per Bitcoin. Uh, the fact that this can be a ten trillion dollar economy, and um, you know, I think it's hard to predict. You can't you can't really tell the future, but you you certainly can understand the value uh, that digital digital currency has for all of us because you know we're we're involved in this. We we deal particularly in Tron. We're in with Tron and we're out with Tron, and that's that's what what we're doing. But because uh, there's so much flexibility, we can and, and if we dis if we decide, well, listen, I don't really like to hang on to Tron. I'm not so sure what the future is going to be like and so forth. And you know, nobody's going to blame you. Come up with a strategy. I, I've got a friend who's got a strategy where he's 50% in and 50% out, which means you earn 100 Tron. He's 50% out. And he converts it immediately to USDT or to BTC, and uh, 50% stays with Tron because you know he 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 believes that Tron has a good future. Um, you decide what suits you because nothing's stopping you from taking 100% out, swapping it instantly, and you can swap it daily, right? There's there's nearly no cost. It's so negligible. Swap it and keep, keep it in a currency that you're more comfortable with. Um, and and the way. Bitcoin is going, it's not a bad place to be, you know, um, most of the big uh, uh, currencies are also following the same trend. So Ethereum is up, uh, Ripple is up, uh, um, you know, I think Litecoin is up. So it's all it's all very positive at this point. Uh, US elections are around the corner. It'll be all done and dusted in about two days. And then who knows, you know, you know, we've got the uh, potential of Trump being reelected. And um, different people have their point of view as to what uh, can happen if Trump wins uh, or if it goes uh, Biden's way. But whatever happens, you can rest assured it will have a significant impact on the economy, uh, not not uh, just the US, because it will affect the stock market, it will affect their economy, but it will has a ripple effect and it will affect everyone else around the world. So. It's something you have to keep your eyes uh, on. You, you've got to pay attention to what's happening in the U.S. because uh, remember the media rules, the, the, the Western media rules the world. They dictate what's going on and all of us follow, uh, um, you know, the, the state of the economy and the state of affairs and the state of politics. Uh, and it's, and it's, uh, it, it's very, very loud these days. So it's hard to, uh, hard to avoid. It's a bit of a contrast to China. If you, if you think about it, you know, China just chugs along. And everything's all closed doors and no one really knows what's happening and all the media is controlled. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a single voice and there's no uh, cacophony of, of uh, noise to disrupt you and disorientate you. So it's very different. Um, <clears throat> I'm here in Ukraine because I think um, what I would like to do together with some of the big leaders that uh, are have a vested interest in in uh, the direction of our business uh, in the in well I shouldn't say business but the, the, the direction that Easytron should head and um, we are looking at opportunities to add on to the smart contract now we've had a couple of uh, setbacks last week we we actually launched the new website and we had to uh, reverse that launch and go back to the original website because uh, for some reason the simplest thing like um, the bell icon couldn't be seen by uh, uh, the Chinese teams um, you know in in China itself where there was an issue with the mobile where there's an issue with the internet you know if you remember me saying uh, whatever we do we want to do it really really carefully and we will take our time we're not in a hurry we don't want to go launch something and then have it crash and burn and and cause disruption so um, we switched it back right away and I think you know it was a, a decision many people wanted the new features and so um, I, I do apologize that um, we've, we've made, had to make that reverse but we will re-implement it but this time around because there was a bit of feedback uh, in terms of the colors a lot of people didn't like the deep red 
um, deep blood red Halloween themed color that we had. So I think we're going to have to make that uh, change. So we're going to send around three or four designs and color themes that uh, we think, um, uh, as you know, we've got a group of ambassadors. We'll see what the ambassadors vote and we'll select a color that everyone's happy with. And then I think we will we can relaunch it. I I would like to say it may take a few days, um, but uh, you know I, I think to be safe maybe a week and a half. Now the second thing is the funnel. The funnel will be up and running on Tuesday. Um, you know very oddly, so I, I think we had some feedback from someone that said, oh you know there's some uh, uh, copy in 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 the text uh, that we had. Um, and so, you know, the, the person made some noise. But on, honestly, this is marketing. The text is all the same. The, you know, would you like to make X amount of dollars? And this is how you do it. And then this is the sequence. And all funnels are going to be the same. All of them. So, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel here. We're taking something that is a really important tool and think, making sure all of you can uh, use it to your advantage. And, um, and and that's something that's really important for us. So we'll have this up and running for you. Um, I believe Tuesday at the latest. So please look out for it. That's a very, very, very important product. Once it's out again, we will begin uh, instructionals. We will we will train you on the Zoom calls. We will make sure there are tutorial videos, and you will know how to use it because it is complex. Mind you, Easytron to some of us is really easy. You have some Tron in your wallet. You you have an upline. You register. You pay a thousand Tron, and you're in. It's it's technically easy, but for some people, it is a nightmare. It can take days and days. They need to buy Tron. That's an issue, right? Where do they get it? How do they get it? Where can they buy it from? What exchange? How do they get the money from the bank into the um, into an exchange? And and all kinds of uh, issues like that kind of happen. So. It's a whole, it's a whole exercise. So uh, this funnel, I, I believe, might be a little bit complex for some people, but please make an effort to learn because it's very, very important for you. Um, then I think one of the other interesting items that we must get out to you next week is the prepaid card. So we're going to start the prepaid card uh, uh, first as a virtual MasterCard. So what that means is you will have, you know, a little bit like some of you have GrabPay and UberPay and and if you're in India, you've got Paytm and um, if you're in, you know, in Philippines, you've got Gcash and, uh, you know, there are all manner of, um, how can I forget WeChat Pay and Alipay, right? You know, we've got all manner of electronic payments today. And so this will be our, um, uh, uh, well, for all of you, this will be uh, your version of an electronic payment system, except it's going to be tied to MasterCard. So you'll get an electronic card. Uh, the card will essentially allow you to um, um, shop online and, and make payments and on and on and on. Uh, everything you can do with a MasterCard, you'll be able to do with this card. So I think that's something that we're excited to, to get to you. Uh, the cost of the card, I think there's, a, there's an initial fee of... I, I think it's eight dollars or ten dollars or twelve dollars or something along those lines, uh, but I think that's the that's a singular fee. I don't know if there's a maintenance fee, but maintenance fee might be one or two dollars, uh, if if at all. And um, the good news is that you can top up that card with Tron. So the advantage is uh, whatever you you've made in the system, you can now take it out of the exchange and place it into your prepaid card. It's a little bit like having a cold wallet, you know, except your cold wallet. And if some of you don't know what a cold wallet is, it's it's a hardware device that you you store your private key in, you store your crypto in, and you you lock into your safe. And and once you do that, then you don't lose the key to your safe, and you try never to get that uh, cold wallet uh, uh, lost or stolen. But um, uh, this is a little bit different. It, it it similar but different. You're taking it out of your Tron wallet and you're placing it into your prepaid card wallet so it'll be it'll be with your mastercard now uh, there will be two levels of kyc uh, first allows you for about three thousand dollars in um, in uh, total load and uh, that means what you can actually place into the card each time and the second level is a lot higher it'll be a two hundred thousand dollar load so i will get details to you 
in the next few days, but I think it's something that is a really essential tool for all of you to have. And we're quite excited uh, for all members to, you know, uh, have access to this. So I um, would very much like to invite my, uh, was supposed to be a surprise guest, but my surprise guest, as you know, uh, you've heard him all the time, uh, my one and only uh, Nadim. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, let's. Yes. Hello, Nadim. Nice to see you as well from oh, Ukraine. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I hope hello. you guys are doing well. And uh, you know, you guys just saw me limping a little bit. Just a few weeks ago, I had a bit of a fall, for which I had to take a break. Uh, but the good news is that I'm walking back on my feet. And I've come all the way to Ukraine to see this special person for Easy Tron. And uh, honestly, uh, I am really, really excited and I'm really surprised with what things we've seen here. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I think this trip is, is worth coming over, uh, obviously, because uh, Nick was here. Uh, we, it was a long time that we didn't get a chance to uh, discuss a lot of things. So he's just firing down a lot of stuff. And uh, he had his card. It was just a surprise for me, but I didn't even know that he's actually coming out next week. So I think that is something uh, fantastic. Uh, and uh, I think the things that Nick is is looking at right now, the options. Just give me that. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now, me uh, Lisa? Okay. So. Um, you know, the main purpose uh, to come here, obviously, Ukraine is a land of opportunities. And uh, Nick here had some really important and special people uh, that, that were coming up with a lot of things. Obviously, it cannot be communicated at this stage, but uh, because everything is in the, in discussion, in the pipeline. Uh, but I think in the due course, uh, being, being the promoter of this company, I think I feel really confident that, uh, you know, we are associated with someone like uh, Nick because he really is looking forward to make this massive. Uh, and I think I can only, uh, the only thing I can tell you is the people right now working for EasyTron continue the way you are doing because the bigger team that you're going to have, I'm telling you, the new products and the new introduction of things, you will be benefiting the most. Uh, you know, don't really get uh, disappointed or slow down because of uh, people around you or things happening around you because this platform is, is, is something which is it's just the beginning, as I said to you before as well many times. It's a, it's a very start. And I think we're just starting to warm up a little bit, just getting things uh, you know, in place. I think probably from uh, at least about four to six weeks from now, things are gonna be very different. And uh, there would be nobody in this, uh, in this, in this whole market that will be able to say that EasyTron is a copy or of, of anything because it will be the, the only one having a lot of things. Uh, the only thing I, I remember, I was just uh, looking at some statistics. Uh, everybody here knows uh, Forsage. Uh, Forsage actually boomed, if you remember, in the first lockdown that happened. And now it's the second lockdown coming up mostly in, in, in all parts of the world. Uh, UK is starting it next week, the whole Europe has, Spain has, all the countries are. I think even uh, US after the elections, definitely they will be considering that. And this entire period from now until Christmas is going to be more or less the lockdown. And I think this year is again another opportunity, uh, thank you, for us, all of us here, uh, to make the most of this because we'll be obviously locked at home and there will be nothing else to do apart from that. Uh, everybody else is, is struggling, uh, you know, and will be struggling in this time, especially when the when the festive season begins at Christmas. We need to make some money for ourselves, for our families, and at least have something, uh, you know, good. So I think really this is the opportunity to, to, to not miss. Uh, you know, I really want to thank all the leaders that are working so hard, Eric, Jenny, Brian, Alam, Ansel, uh, you know, all the leaders, all the leaders, if I'm forgetting your names, uh, please don't think I've missed you. It's just, uh, uh, you know, all the teams from Japan, from Dubai, from Pakistan, from UK, South America, my brother Carlos, uh, you know, Simon, Becky, uh, Ken, uh, Louis, every single person, you know, thank you so much for all the hard work that you guys are putting in. I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. 
and we have been consistent from day one uh, till now it's been consistently growing uh, we not uh, i wouldn't say we are we are shooting high and then going down but we are consistently moving upwards uh, we had some really top uh, meetings this week with some top leaders from india there's a guy called shaker that i spoke with he's got a team of half million people uh, in in a in a product based business he's already in he's moving into this business now uh, so you know in the background there's a lot of stuff that's happening uh, and uh, I know people just keep looking at the track record of the website, but uh, you know, but there's a lot of things that are that are happening in the background. I think which will change the face of this whole system in the coming time. And I think with the introduction of the card, the funnel, the, the products that Nick is looking at, and all the other things that are happening, the academy is coming up. Uh, and uh, there's a lot more things, you know, that, that I know of now, but obviously I cannot discuss until it's all been ironed down. So there's many things, many things that are happening and many things that are coming. All I can say is that all the guys, all the 20,000 people in the system right now, you can actually look for a career at EasyTron because we will not be leaving any single, any single market space out there, whether it's trading, whether it's crypto, whether it's Forex, whether it's products, whether it's anything that you can think of. We will be there in every single space. And I think if you guys stick around with EasyTron, you will be a part of everything. And trust me, you will be making money from all the spaces that we just spoke about from every single member that you join in the market, uh, in safely. the system. Safely. Safely, yes. Very important. Very, very safely. Uh, not looking at uh, any, uh, you know, rocket percentages. Uh, you know, there's also something that Nick is looking at. Uh, some some investment products etc which are going to be very very safe which will be backed up by the governments etc so all that is being planned but as you know rome was not built in one day it takes time to materialize everything to iron down everything to ensure that everything is properly done it takes time so you guys need to be patient one by one i think he's already working on the roadmap as well for you to know what's coming when uh, but that will take about probably a month's time to be released because everything needs to be discussed and we know what's going to happen so I leave you with that note, guys. Ukraine is a fantastic city, although the weather is not that great at the moment. But I think, yes, uh, this city, you've got to be associated with a lot uh, in the future. And uh, I think Eric was supposed to come this weekend, but he hasn't. So I'm really not happy about that. But we hopefully will see him. Uh, you know, we are here for another few days. So hopefully we see him before we leave. So with that, I'll just pass it back to, uh, to uh, Nick and let him continue. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Nadim. I really appreciate that. Um, Lisa, shall I hand it back to you? Uh, you know, I the screen is so far away for me. I can't see how many people on the call. I can't see what the questions might yeah, be. Yeah, we can barely hear um, you. Really? So soft. Oh no! Even now? We can hear you, but soft. You know, you're lucky. You can even hear me at all right the wi-fi here is so bad it's so bad <laughs> so um i don't know if there are questions that have come from the uh, audience or anything like that um, but uh, you know that's roughly my update for this week um nadim did speak about a roadmap this is something that we are in, in particular very uh, concerned about because we want to make sure everyone is aware of what's going to happen six months down the line, a year down the line, even three years down the line. Uh, this is a business that doesn't need to close, that has genuine sustainability. Uh, some people may... We've got lots of ideas that have come from different members. And, and I want to tell you, we listen to everything. And, um, uh, you know, I, as I said, you know, the key driver for us is longevity. Um, I think the, the secondary driver has to be safety. So these two things will be our driving force uh, to ensure that all of you can, you know, put all your effort in, in a network that has a long, long lifespan, but can, that can genuinely make you money, not just for yourself, but for the people and your network that you bring with you. You know, I, I've said many, many times, um, all of you are powerful networkers. I mean, you listen to some, some of the, uh, the leaders speak. They have strength, they have power, they have conviction, and people follow them. And their only downfall will be a network that always lets them down, right? And, and through no fault of their own. They've brought in people. I've just got another request today, you know, uh, Nick, you know, this network is closed. Can we please, uh, can you please help us to cash out? We're going to send you some, some, uh, some crypto, you know, where 
it took them I don't know two weeks before they closed. So you you get all kinds of stuff out there and 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 all kinds of businesses that promise you incredible returns. Uh, please, you know, keep your eyes open. Again, even if we if we decided we wanted to put something in that had some kind of an ROI, uh, some kind of um, dividend, especially, you know, um, we'll tell you clearly how it can be achieved. Uh, it can never be fixed, and it should never be fixed. You know, it can't be, you know, one percent a day or thirty percent a month or some some ridiculous number like that. But it. But there can be opportunities where we can share some wealth uh, it, from from businesses that we get involved in, and I will spell it out clearly so that everyone understands what we're doing, what we're. But you know, my my entire experience has been uh, uh, that of an entrepreneur. You know, I've been an entrepreneur for 17 years, Not, way more than I've been a networker, and so I understand. Uh, At least that aspect, you know, I've been part of uh, what is known as the Entrepreneurs uh, uh, Organization, which has 150 chapters around the world. You know, I've been the, the president for two years, uh, and and you know, I know I know businesses all around the world, and I understand exactly the dangers of business as well. Please, please remember, as much as 98% of networks close, 98% of businesses close. In this pandemic, you can see for yourself. Not even the fault of the business. Many of them have to wind up. You know, we've just had a 163-year-old company in Singapore close down just two days ago. You know, it's so sad. You know, for all the employees to just find out. They, I think it was a Friday. If, if I think it was a Friday, they were just told that's it. The company is closed. They immediately uh, placed in liquidation. 163-year-old business. So, you know, it's. Even business is tough, so whatever it is we do, we want to be very careful. We want to make sure we don't overpromise. Uh, we we have to make sure we also uh, at least underpromise and overdeliver, if anything. But um, uh, again, safety, longevity, these are two really important things. And a lot of what we're doing is self-generated, uh, and so we're going to work along those same lines, uh, so that we're not. Um, dependent on outside parties to feed us, uh, and I'll explain all of that, you know, when when uh, when the time is right. So with that, uh, I do want to thank you, and uh, and and thank you, Nadim, for uh, flying flying down to Ukraine. I've got a crazy crazy story about uh, my trip to the Ukraine. It uh, it was supposed to take me 24 hours. It ended up taking me 48 hours. I flew into Ukraine. I had to fly back out, and then fly back in again. You know, it was a it was a disaster. It was a disaster. This this flying in the middle of COVID. Yeah. Don't travel unless it's necessary. Traveling in the middle of COVID is different. You know what you see on the website isn't necessarily what's on the ground. All kinds of random situations uh, happen. You know, some people say you need a COVID test. Some people say you don't, and on and on. So, I you know, <laughs> don't travel. <laughs> Did I wear my? I wore my. I can't put my mask on now and talk. I'll I'll suffocate. <laughs> But yes, I'm wearing my very very pretty mask. <laughs> so thank you so much, um, everyone. It's great seeing you, and um, please stay in touch. Uh, open if any messages, any questions you have, please. Ask. You can reach out to anyone now. You can easily reach out to, uh, for example, and Eric and Eric can reach out to uh, uh, Lisa. Lisa can reach out to me. You know, it's so reach out to us. You know, we're always available. And um, uh, please remember log into Facebook and join Facebook groups. Uh, Easy TRX's uh, official group. It's really important. We're I think up to only 400 members now. We still we got to get up to 14. Or seventeen, seventeen, eighteen thousand, right? We keep growing so fast. So please, please, please join a Facebook group so we can reach you and keep you updated. That's really important for us. So, signing off from uh, from Kiev. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful Sunday.